Welcome to the Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian, number 15. This week's episode is cosplayer Ellie Marie, who is super cool. Um, she and I met at Supercon 2014, I believe, through um, uh, Keek's cosplay, Momo. She's going to find out she's like the perfect friend liaison. She's introduced her to other people, and she just makes friends with other people, friends with other people. So, impromptu shout out to Keek's cosplay in this episode. But uh, we uh, we had a great time. We recorded this at UltraCon. Um, we get into the fact that she loves League of Legends, which I personally have never played, but it sounds pretty awesome. Um, we talk about how she met David Love and got to working with him, her favorite video games, um, the the diversity in her followers. She does graphic design. We get into a bunch of really cool stuff. But you'll, you'll hear us talk about a... Uh, a podcast with Danica uh, quite a few times because right before I recorded this one, I did a another podcast with Danica Rockwood and I don't know what happened. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but after an hour or so talking with Danica, I thought I'd hit the record button, but apparently I hit the play button and it started playing a podcast I'd previously recorded. But to me, seeing numbers move on the screen after pressing a button... Thought uh thought it was recording and it did not so that was my bad and uh, we <laughs> we touch on that a little bit here but um anyway I hope you guys enjoy this Danielle is great um you're great for listening to this and here is the interesting podcast with Jedi Brian episode fifteen with cosplayer Ellie Marie roll the theme song. <laughs> Yeah, the whole time just be. <sighs> it doesn't sound like anything to us, but on the recording, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now <laughs> yeah, just talk, answer a question, and then just rest it on your face. <laughs> Are we going? Now it's recording. Oh, we're recording. See that right there? Yeah. That's what I should have double checked. <laughs> it's what you should have been doing this whole time? Yep. No, okay, so. For my defense, the okay. numbers were going. Okay. But it was playing a previous podcast. I have a question. Yes. Does this recording thing light up when it is not recording? You know, I don't know. I know it's lit up right now, and it's recording. I see. Yes. You've been in well, a lot of podcasts. What's it like? <laughs> um, they're okay sometimes. Are they usually on the phone? Like, do they call you or do they Skype you? No, I've done one in person and I've done one over Google Hangouts. Oh, I didn't even think about that, which is basically Skype. But which is Skype. Easier. But with Google. And you can have Google multiple Skype. people? And that. Is that how it works? That too. Well, you can have multiple people in Skype. Gotcha. So and how did, do you know how they had it set up? Or you just showed up in Google Hangouts and you're like, all right, let's talk. Did they have mics on their end or does Google Hangout record? Or do you know any um, of that? They had mics. And I had my headset. Okay, so I you had a mic as well. And yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay. And it sounded great. Yeah. Yeah. Was that the, I thoroughly enjoyed the happy that. hour one? Mm -hmm. That was fun. I, I listened to it as I was falling asleep, so I didn't finish it. But the guys are really, really cool. Great. I like the. They're opening salute. beer open. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. That's good. They have a very good dynamic. Mm -hmm. I have no friends, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You know. Yeah. Some admit it, some don't. Yeah. It's okay. I have internet friends that are really good. It's the first step. Yeah. Yeah, first step to admitting your problem uh -huh. is admitting you have it. Yep. <laughs> Just kidding. I totally have friends. If you're my friend and you're listening to it, uh, sweet. No, I'm figuring I, because I, when I first did it, and I say this almost every time, uh, I wanted to make it as mobile as possible so I could take it to cons and just record stuff. And it's, uh, it's pretty mobile. 
Yeah. It's this whole thing. It's as mobile as it gets. Plug microphones into we it. We could probably walk around and do this while we're we're walking. Yeah. Yeah. I in theory, we definitely we'd have to watch out for cords. That's assuming I can take the microphone off of my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like a small cat. Yeah. A small blue cat. That's definitely that's definitely one way to. That feels like a cat. That's a cat. Kind of. <laughs> it's you soft. Cats are soft. Cats are soft, yeah. We're in the same uh, vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> if you were blind and felt it, and you'd, never, <laughs> and you'd never felt a cat before, you'd be like, oh, this is a cat. This, this is what a cat is, <laughs> <laughs> this thing. Uh, so we're, we're at UltraCon. We're at UltraCon. How's it been for you? It's been pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah. We got our nice little ring of cosplayers going on. Yeah. Our own little playpen. Mm-hmm. Playpen's a, a good word. Yeah. It's a good way to put it. First one that popped into my head. What? First one that popped into my head. Playpen. See, this is the issue with having two soft-spoken people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What? <laughs> that's why we'll just squint at each huh? other and be like, I think that's what she said. Maybe. What? We'll just... Huh? And we'll talk. <laughs> I, I... Hello? You know what was that movie? Are you there? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so... What so? are some lame cosplay questions you get all the time that you don't like answering that you can now direct people to the podcast so you don't have to answer them anymore? Great question. Um, how did you get into cosplay? How did you get into cosplay? Probably the first um, and most asked question and the answer of is? everything ever. The answer is my friend oh. and roommate um, told me about conventions. She told me that I would love them because we play video games together. We met playing League of Legends on the same... Uh, team. Really? Yep. We, um, their League of Legends team needed an AD carry, and that just so happened to be the role that I enjoyed the most. Huh. So I joined their team, and then she told me about conventions. And I'm a very shy person for the most part, and so I was scared of them at first. <laughs> so I went to them in normal clothes a few times until I realized that. I could cosplay and not feel weird about it because I had friends with me. Right. So I did a few group cosplays, and they were really fun. So and then it all expanded from there. Nice. So was it Momo? Yes. She was a friend. You guys met on League? We met playing League of Legends. That's amazing. <laughs> did you know like you were in Florida at first? Or you just kind of like, oh, hey, I'm in Florida too. And then you met at a con sort of thing? Um, well, we had a mutual friend. Okay. And... Um, Everyone played League of Legends at that point that sure. I knew. It was like very, very, I mean, it's still one of the most popular games ever. But at that point, all my friends were playing. And um, I always played AD Carry with everyone. Right. So uh, he was like, you know, I actually have a, a friend who needs an AD Carry for their team. And I was like, me? <laughs> Pick me, please. Raise your hand. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Hey, so AD Carry, got it. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Let's do it. So, uh, yeah, he introduced us, and then now we're roommates. That's awesome. And she made me cosplay for the first time together with her. I did not know that. launch from Dragon Ball Z. We were the launches. So we actually have Scumbag Keeks on Instagram. Or what is there? Keeks Cosplay on Facebook, right? Keeks Cosplay on Facebook. Yes. Scumbag Keeks everywhere else. Instagram, gotcha. Twitter, story. So we have her to thank for the Ellie Marie that we yes. know. Yes. Ah. Yes. That's pretty great. She planted the seed. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay, what are some other ones? Um, what's your favorite cosplay? What's your favorite cosplay? <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> now you don't have to answer these anymore. <laughs> I know, right? If they, if they, if anyone asks these questions anymore, just put a link to this podcast. This. Listen to this. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't have a favorite. Everybody like says that. I know. It, that's why it's such a ridiculous question. No right? one has a favorite <laughs> cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> because. You spend like weeks on one costume, and then you spend weeks on another costume, and then like you've spent so much time in everything, there isn't one favorite that you can have. That makes sense. You put so much money and time and effort into every costume that you make. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I, I can't I can't just pick one. Right. Okay. Um, let's see. What are some other ones that they get? Um, I guess how you got started is another one. I get a lot of, what got you into cosplay? 
You know, what does cosplay mean to you? Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. <laughs> How do you answer that? It's such an <laughs> open ended, weird question. It is. What does cosplay mean to you? It's like, huh? Dressing up? I don't I, I don't understand. <laughs> Can you elaborate? Having fun dressing up? <laughs> I guess. You know when you when you take like a survey online, they ask you a question and they elaborate in the description underneath it. I yes. need that for that question. <laughs> yeah. well, I need you okay. to explain so what I this was born even here. means. <laughs> yeah. So actually, you were born in New York. I was. I know that because I listened to the other podcast. Yeah. What what part of New York? Um, it's in a town that nobody has ever heard of called Suffern. 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 Like, like suffer with an N. S- yeah. Yes. Suffern. Yes. That's how my mom actually made me remember it when I was a small child. Really? Yeah, whenever I was like, Mom, where was I born? She's like, well, I was suffering and suffering. (laughs) And I'm like, thanks, Mom. That was cute. (laughs) Appreciate it. Uh Uh-huh. So what made you guys move down here? Um, My dad's work. I was six. Moved to Gainesville. Nice. Sorry, Danica. Hate Gainesville. (laughs) (laughs) She's on a horse. She's on a horse. She doesn't care. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> She's coming closer. No. No. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> uh, I will not say anything to your face anymore. I can't take it. <laughs> See, this is the only time I wish that it was like a visual podcast. I know, right? Danica riding an inanimate horse. <laughs> closer and closer, closer slowly. <laughs> She can't make it go away. She can only make it go in one direction. I thought so. I'm going to go back now. Oh, my God. So you moved to Gainesville. Moved to Gainesville. Don't like Gainesville. Kay. Sorry, Gainesville. Gainesvillians. Yeah, that. Gain, Gains, Gains people. Um, and then I moved to Ocala. Uh, also because of family. Um, hate, hate it there. <laughs> <laughs> also. Also sucks. <laughs> also sucks. Maybe worse. Actually, not even maybe. It definitely worse. Okay. Totally worse. There's nothing in Ocala. Oh. Actually, um, the only thing in Ocala is, um, retirement homes. Oh. And farms. Nice. And a mall. Oh, that, a well very that's very dismal, nice. small mall. mall. <laughs> Was there a food court? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what more could you want? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> I had a food court. That's, that's all. <laughs> um, and then I moved to Tampa okay. for school. And that I was like Tampa. Tampa. You like Tampa? It was okay. Okay. It's right in the middle. Yeah. Um, then I went to Orlando. Okay. And? And Orlando was fun. Okay. Um, too much traffic for me. It yes. took like an hour to go to the Walgreens on the street. Oh. So, so you like might as well walk. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, now I'm in West Palm Beach, and I this is my favorite place so far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you a city person? Oh yeah. I was about to say the places you mentioned that were good were cities, and the knots were not. Gotcha. Yep. Is suffering a city sort of place? No. No. But I. Do you remember suffering? No. Yeah. No memories at all. I mean, yes. But, but like, not really. Small people memories. Gotcha. Like, rolling down a hill. Oh, there's you hills know. up there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's significant. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but I visited New York City a lot. Gotcha. So I, I m- was molded. I love it there. Gotcha. No one really likes it there, but I love it there. Oh, well, that's okay. I was I lived on a farm before I moved down here, so I like the country. <laughs> so we're the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. When you're like, we Tampa's nice, friends. I was like, hmm. Then you're like, Orlando's really nice. I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 Gross. Uh, I have one with Danica, and then I think I'm out. I'll get you for sure, though. But, um, yes, I lived on a farm. And then I moved down here at six as well. Okay. But I remember a lot of it, mainly because it was a farm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So. Eating leaves. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, I, I ate leaves. Um, yep. Animals. Yeah, I had emus. You had emus? 50 of them. <laughs> and an ostrich. <laughs> yeah. I've had a very interesting life. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, they're interesting birds. You ever seen an emu? I mean, on the internet. They're yes. Uh, they <laughs> my, one of my favorite internet memes, I have a picture of an emu looking through a fence, and it just says soon. <laughs> it's my favorite one. I use it o- as often as I can. Soon. Yeah, just... <laughs> 
But yeah, you know the, their eggs are blue. Really? They have like a turquoise blue eggs, and they're big. They're big. There's your fun fact. Big eggs. Yep. Big blue eggs. Big blue eggs. <laughs> awesome. Have you? So you like League a lot. I what? You like League a lot. Oh, League of Legends. League yes. of Legends. Yes. I was trying to be cool and say League. League. But then you're like, you don't play League. You don't know our lingo. League. <laughs> ADD. What's League? <laughs> ADD carry. <laughs> Please <laughs> that get out thing. of here. The letters. Jinx. Jinx the is a character. Yeah, yeah, it is. Poros are a thing. Mm-hmm. I'm basing everything I'm saying off of stuff you've posted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be a league thing. <laughs> what is announcers? announcers pretty loud. We're so soft spoken, we won't hear I anything. I know, right? Huh? What? <laughs> what was that? Huh? Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, favorite cosplay you already did. What, your favorite con is Tampa. Tampa Bay Comic Con. That's Absolutely. mine as well. What was your first con? My first con was SuperCon 2014. Yeah. Oh, so you've only been doing it like a year, a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm a noob. How do you like it? Cosplay? Yeah. Conventions? Yep. The whole shebang? The whole shebang. I like it. I'm going to ask some bad questions now. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that thing you're doing a lot? That, yeah. I don't know. I like it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Any more context? Can you give me a question description, please? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Response bubble for elaboration. Uh huh. <laughs> um, it's it's fun. I I definitely enjoy meeting people. That's my favorite aspect. Yeah. Um, and the way that this microphone feels against my face. <laughs> it might be tied for my favorite aspect. <laughs> yeah. No, but I've met a whole lot of really 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 awesome people through yeah. this. Before I only knew Momo and like maybe like two or three people that went to conventions. Sure. So a lot, like the majority of my friends weren't into the same things as me. I was like the nerd and everyone else was like into other stuff. I like, feel you. Like clubs. I feel you. Stuff like that. And like I tried to like those things and I was like, or I could just stay home and... and Play league. Play league. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say, stay home and watch movies, <laughs> but you don't watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> That's we can talk about that. Is this transitioning into me not watching movies? Yeah. That's I feel like that's the direction this is heading. You know what? Now it, now it is. Now I'm accepting it. Uh, fun it's okay. fact, Danielle has never seen any of the movies you like. Nope. No, no, none of them at none all. None of them. Not a, so so then where's your where's your fandom at? Like, what is something you really, really like? Is Halo. it video games? It is? Yeah. It's Halo? Mm-hmm. Specifically Halo? Specifically Halo. Which one's your favorite? Say two. Say two. I like two. I have to say two because it is the best one, although I really like all of them, even though a lot of people don't. Did you like ODST? No. Well, then you don't like all <laughs> That's the only one, actually. Thank you I like all for of pulling them. that one out of You're the, welcome. The, the woodwork. Uh, oh, no, yeah. I like them all. And I by all, I mean the main ones, like 1, 2, 3, 4, Reach. I know I'm going to get shit for that, but I really like Reach. Dude, they made a book that's cool, right? Stuff? Yeah. I don't know. Things, I stuff, don't know. sure. Do you play online, or you like the story, or yeah, both? Yeah, no, I actually... I don't ever play campaign. Oh, really? <laughs> I probably should, but I only play multiplayer, and I just scream at little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played the newest one? Um, yes. Yeah. Five? Yes. Is that, yeah? Yeah. Guardians? Guardians. Five? Yep. I don't know. Halo I know. 5 Guardians. I'm really bad at video games, so Halo I don't play Halo 5 them. colon Guardians. So you're, so you're pretty good? Would you say you're pretty good? I would say so. Yeah? Yeah. That's okay. Probably need some more practice. It's been a while, but yeah. I'm really bad at video games. Like, really bad. So your fandom is with TV? I love movies. And movies. TV's okay. good, but movies is incredible. But, uh, yeah, that was my big thing, because I can watch a movie, detached mm-hmm. from real life for two hours. Mm-hmm. Games, I, uh, I get scared. So much so that if I, like, specifically first-person shooters, I'm really, really bad at. <laughs> because if anybody gets close to me, I'm like, ah! And, and I just... The cursor goes all over the place, and I just like, hold the trigger fuck, down. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't hit anybody, and then I die. <laughs> I've been playing Battlefront this past week because of Star Wars. I got to play it. Uh-huh. My life expectancy when I play online is like 30 seconds if I hide, because <laughs> they will find me. <laughs> They'll find me, and they will kill me. <laughs> and the, and it, I feel like I'm unloading like an entire clip into the dude, and he's like three shots, and I'm dead. I don't know if he's aiming for my head, because I don't even think that's possible. But I'm also really bad at games. But uh, hey, I, I mean, I like, I like certain games I was just talking to Sarah who's a Mausler yes. I was just talking to her recently and she's mm-hmm. crazy into video games as well uh-huh. and she's like you don't like video games I was like I'm bad at them if you're bad at something you usually don't like it Yeah. but I love like Ratchet and Clank 
Uh -huh. Red Dead Redemption. Yes. I'm, I was very good at that game. Uncharted, I was very, very good at. Awesome. Basically third person I can do. I was going to say, that's that's the theme. First, I get uh, rather intimidated. And then there's always like some 12-year-old talking about my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, talk to me when you've gone through <laughs> puberty. Leave me alone. Stop <laughs> killing me. <laughs> why do I have, why have all these people fucked my mom? <laughs> Seriously, right? <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> you don't even know my mom. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> right, please? <laughs> Tell me you don't. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so how do you choose a character to cosplay? That's a well, good question, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, for the most part, it started out with all of the characters that I've loved growing up. So my first uh, costume that I made myself was Android 18. Which um, is phenomenal. I have the print. Thank you. It's amazing. I appreciate it. Because um, I really, really, really love Dragon Ball Z. Um, my first costume I ever wore which was before the first costume I ever made was launched from Dragon Ball Z. I said that earlier. Um, uh, so yeah, it started off with Dragon Ball Z and then it mostly was video games because that's just what you I've think? always done. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so I started doing a lot of video game characters and then I started doing too many video game characters <laughs> and that was my only audience. So I was <laughs> like, you know, I should probably expand this a little bit. Plus, um, it seemed to me, which I could be wrong, that video game characters s were way more intricate and harder to make than oh yeah. characters that I saw, <laughs> like comic books and stuff with like spandex tights right. and, and boots and a mask. Stuff. But um, I don't know. I started um, watching anime more. That's how it started expanding. So I started off with video games, and then I was like, you know, I should probably... There's so many people walking around in costumes I've never seen before, and right. I, I want to know about these things. So I started watching anime um, a little bit. So now I'm a, I'm a ki I'm still a noob, but yeah. I enjoy anime and then um, comic books. I like. Nice. I just started. I comic books wasn't something that I ever read or anything before, but. Like I said, being at conventions so much, you want to know about everything that's going on. Sure. Um, the <laughs> only thing that I'm still behind on is movies. Yeah, we're we're very much opposite, it seems. <laughs> I know. You're from the city. I'm from the country. Yeah. <laughs> I watch nothing but movies. Exactly. You've never seen a movie. <laughs> <laughs> never, ever. Never. The thing is, I can never sit through them. I don't know if it's because I have like a very small attention span or what. Yeah. But... Like I, I like to be doing things with things on in the background. So like if something's sense. on in the background, I don't really watch it. Right. You know, it's just like background noise. That makes sense. So that's another we're opposite because you like to the games. You have to control everything. So mm -hmm. you're I like to not control everything and just be like, I'm gonna be entertained. Potato. Bring yeah. it to me. <laughs> you know, if I have to move it, I'm like, oh my god, just give me the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, so that makes sense then. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy the, the letting go of it and just like, entertain me, peasant. <laughs> <laughs> dance, You puppet, people dance. on the screen. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to watch your problems, perhaps over a season or two. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Android. Yeah, like Android 18? Yeah, yeah, totally. That's why I did her first. She is the best. That makes sense. She stuck out to me. First of all, she's blonde. We're on the same that team. That helps. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Second of all, she was like the strongest and most amazing woman in that whole series and agreed. Like That's everyone was scared of her. She was just like a super well. strong <laughs> like personality in the show. So she is very cool. She was less whiny than Chi Chi. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk loud. I don't want Brittany to hear me. <laughs> but I hate Chi Chi. <laughs> she loves Chi Chi. Does she? she gets really upset when people say that they hate Chi Chi. Chi Chi annoyed me. Oh, she she whined too complain. much. Yeah, like, thank dude, you. Your husband is like the savior of the world. Give him some slack. Yeah. He's busy. Jeez. <laughs> Bulma didn't even complain that much and Losing Gita straight up knocked her up and peaced out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we're kind of the we're on a on a similar vein. Krillin's my favorite character. Really? Yep. Everyone hates Krillin. He's like, he dies like opening a can of soda. I was like, yeah, but he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll be back. He's no, back every time. I love Krillin because of Dragon Ball. Mm. I love Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. But Krillin was like with Goku the entire time. And I was like, he's like mm -hmm. the unsung hero. Yeah. Like he had the porn magazines. <laughs> and that's the whole reason that they got trained by Roshi. Yeah. Because <laughs> I ain't going to do it. And Krillin's like, Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, all right, yeah, I'll uh -huh. take you guys in. So uh, you're welcome, universe. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like <laughs> when somebody pays for somebody else's schooling and they change the world. It's like, well, who's the real hero? Yeah. 
the money bags. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I Krillin's like Krillin. Awesome. I do love Krillin. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. You want him? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do love Trunks. Trunks is my second favorite. Yes. Ah, look at you. Uh, no. I think not. Squad leader for 501st. I see. I'm in it. He's in charge. He's important. Yes. <laughs> he runs all of it. I think he was Darth Vader, actually. That was him in the suit. Oh. He's a cool guy. Very cool. Yes. I like that. But Trunks is cool. He's got a sword. I can't take his sword. Aww. Like the good kind of can't take or the bad kind of can't take? This just in. <laughs> no. Why would I want Danica a horse? can't take the horse Give after all. I can't bring it home with me. What if we tied it to your roof? That's weird. It's raining. I have a <laughs> lot of twine. <laughs> I'll make it happen. I'll take it. You're going to take, take the horse? I'll take the horse. All right, but only if you name it first. Oh, yeah, you have a How small car. How can I put it in my car? Oh my God, what do you mean? <laughs> I, can br- I can fit it out of my you, car. You it? You can put it in your car? Yeah. Just Are you really going to take the horse? <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, I'll, ke- yeah. I'll take it for you, you and I will chestnut? transport it I can't. later. Hold on. No, you have to have Stand by. Oh, if you want me, I'll take it. I'll take the horse. I'll keep it forever. <laughs> You're not allowed to get rid of it. Take it. I'll take it and I'll nice. I'll love it like my own. Danica, come on. You need a better name. Chestnut. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, let me put some thought into it. That's yeah, I'll try. Now. I'll try to do that. So if anybody sees pictures from Ellen Marie concerning a horse, I watched the deal go down. <laughs> You're now a proud owner of chestnut. <laughs> I like chestnut. Oh my god. <laughs> Chestnut's a great name. Such a lame name. <laughs> That's so like, I'm going to name you horse. <laughs> it's cinnamon. <laughs> it's cinnamon. Sparkle? Can we name cinnamon it Sparkle? Chestnut. Butt Stallion. Butt Stallion. <laughs> From Borderlands. <laughs> so, anyway. There's that. Yep. What, have else, what else have you been watching? Like Anime noob. Watching. Watching. I am working on Soul Eater right now. Soul Eater, how is it? I love it yeah i'm like super big into fantastic female characters right star wars has some of those oh yeah you'll see yeah go on one day (laughs) (laughs) um and so i really love maka in soul eater okay i'm also watching jarara however the hell I'm supposed to pronounce that. Sure. Uh, lots of Raz. Lots of with Raz. With a dir- Jura- duh at the front. Threes. Um, Something. By request um, of Momo. It's confusing me. <laughs> right. I don't really get I it. I don't get it, but uh, the watching um, it. And then I was also suggested to watch Black Butler by okay. Danica. She watched I Black like Black that. Butler? Yeah. So far. I'm on the second season. Um, Have you seen Samurai Shampoo? No. You need to watch that. But I was, I've was i been told that. It's my favorite anime. Is it? It's 26 episodes. So that it's very makes short. me want to watch it more. It's very good. Okay. I like Samurai Shampoo a lot. That'll be next. Yes. I have a long, long, long list of movies, but uh, um, we'll wait. Do you think Samurai Shampoo should be before or after Star Wars? Star Wars first. Okay. Because you're already, what, two, four, you're already 30 point 33.33% done with it? Yeah. So... You got four more, and then... I have a question yes. for you, Okay. Brian. By all means, it's your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, like, that's why I don't, like, we're here at this blah, blah, blah. I just kind of like, ah, whatever they want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, que- question Why? Me. Why do you think that you should go in chronological order to watch Star Wars instead of the first three and then the, the Ooh, last three? We are going to because dissect my audience immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've heard both, okay. uh, I've heard both things told to me in very strong convictions, yes. both ways. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the most diplomatic way to put this. Uh huh. Actually, you know what? It's my podcast. I don't even it's care. It's your podcast. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. He made four in 1977. It was just Star Wars, George Lucas. Okay. Mm-hmm. He made it because it was all him. It was basically an indie film. Mm-hmm. Nobody would give him money for it. The mm-hmm. They didn't want to distribute it. That's why he's so rich, because he got merchandising. Because, like, you're never going to sell a toy of Star Wars. Well, okay, they were very wrong. He's, like, yeah. a bazillionaire, right? Uh-huh. Well, so he made four as, like, the complete movie beginning, middle, end, because he didn't think he'd ever make any more. Okay. When he wrote it, four is right in the middle of the story. Clone Wars have happened, everything. Send you in the middle. Then there's two more, because it did so well and changed the world, so he made five or six. Mm-hmm. They didn't have the technology 
to do what he wanted to do. So when the 90s rolled around, it's looking pretty good, then he made the prequels. Kay. People hate the prequels. Yes. The biggest reason is because they expected the prequels to be for them, but they're not. He made the prequels for their kids because it had been since 83. This came out in 99. You know, so we're talking 16 years, and they're like, okay. this isn't like my Star Wars. Well, no, it isn't. It's not yours. It's for your kids. And then this new one, it's been 10 years. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be for the past people. It's for everyone. I see. And everybody hated Jar Jar Banks. Kay? I've heard that. I didn't hate him, maybe because I was nine, <laughs> but he didn't ruin it for me because I watched four, five, and six growing up really, really young, and I loved them so much. Mm -hmm. Then when one, two, and three came out, I loved them not even for the acting or the, the directing or whatever, for the story mm -hmm. because you, you've seen one and two, so at the end they do the whole like Clone Wars is about to start. Yes. And episode four, somebody mentions the Clone Wars. Now you know what that's like because you've seen them. Mm -hmm. I think you should watch them numerically, one, two, three, four, five, six, because you'll get the full story. Okay. Everybody else is being biased about it and like, oh, I hate the prequels. But I also think, because I've talked to Sarah and a couple other people who actually like really like Star Wars, not mm -hmm. like casually, and one is not as bad as people make it out to be. Mm -hmm. I think people who hate on the prequels, it's like people in the 90s that wore fanny packs. Like they think <laughs> it's cool, <laughs> you know? So uh -huh. uh, it's, not, it's not awful. But it's, if you talk to anybody about Star Wars, they'll be like, oh, Star Wars, blah, blah, blah. The next thing almost always will be, yeah, except the prequels suck. Like, it's just the next form of conversation. Uh-huh. Which is garbage. Garbage. Yeah. They're, I look at them all as one for me because it's all, it's all just I great. I love the full story of all of it. Mm -hmm. That's why I think you should watch all six. Everybody see, else is biased. <laughs> That's, uh, I was told to watch them in chronological order yeah. first. That's which what is, I was told. Which is good. Um, by one of my friends, and so we did that. We started them in chronological order. Right. And then I was I was telling people that I was watching them in chronological order, and then a lot of people were upset with me for watching them in yeah. chronological order. They um, don't worry about uh -oh. them. Water down. <laughs> those it's okay. Those people are wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I guess it's just a matter of opinion. I at this point. Yes, but it definitely um, is. It's. I will say. The people who don't like the prequels only have three Star Wars movies to enjoy. I have six. So <laughs> <laughs> when it who comes is down really to it, losing yeah, here? <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah. But I don't know. It's just it's just people. Some people like it. I, I love it because of the story. You know, mm -hmm. I get the full story. Like seven, eight, and nine that are gonna come out is just gonna add to everything. Gotcha. The new trilogy enhances the old for me. Okay. Whereas some people I would argue don't like the old trilogy enough if the new trilogy can ruin it for them. Mm. Like, how much did you really like it? If it was that some easy to dethrone it. Psychology here. So, I mean, well, if you want to get into it. Brian uh, <laughs> <laughs> throwing some mind bombs at I everyone. I mean, <laughs> you asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> and I did show great hesitance. <laughs> you did. You did. But Sorry, uh, audience. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was like, oh, no, I need to pander for the audience. Yeah, it's my podcast. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, I will say by the end you will like it. It's just okay. a really good story. Sounds good. It's very, very good. Yeah. I mean, you saw you saw one and two. Let's be honest. They were not the worst movies you've ever seen. No. Thank I you. was told, I mean, not I was told. There were one, some of my friends said that uh, um, the Clone Wars was the worst one. That's why everyone hates yes. the prequels so bad. I, I would agree Clone Wars is the weakest of the six. Okay. And that's coming from a super fan. I've seen all of them probably close to, if not more than 100 times. Oh. A lot. Because when I was a kid, that was like my escape. And you know when you're a kid, you'd watch something, then rewind it and watch it again? Well, you don't because you haven't seen movies. Yeah. But there's this thing kids do. Yeah, yeah. Well, they'll watch a movie, uh -huh. <laughs> be it Disney, Weird. rewind it, Okay. immediately rewatch it. Interesting. That was me in Star Wars. Okay. So I've seen them a lot, which, you know, over 24 years, it's like 100 times isn't that bad. Yeah. So it's okay. thousands of days, but I like them a lot. And I've, like, dissected them. So I, I would consider okay. myself a fanboy. Of it, mm -hmm. not like I guess you would be considered a fangirl of League. I'm assuming you're pretty yeah, into it. We can do that. You watched the tournament thingy recently. Yes. Did your guys win? Um, my guys got dissected. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that is that is not awful. not in a way that they lost. Not okay. in Not in a they lost so bad that they were dissected way. In a uh, my favorite team, yes. basically 
what are they called? Disbanded and not not disbanded but they all they got new people like half the people were quit or fired and and then the oh. other half and then they got a bunch of weird new people that are like randomly on the team now so like the team that i liked is no longer the team that i liked oh you know what i mean yes Does oh that yeah make sense? it's like when you love a team and then they switch out players yeah and you're like wait but i like that guy yeah yeah, yeah. that's exactly what happened i love my favorite uh, league of legends team is slash was clg okay it's called counter logic gaming Nice. And um, the one of the pioneers of League of Legends, his name is Doublelift. Okay. Um, was like one of their main star players, and he was kicked off. Okay. And he literally went to the rival team, like wow, like the rival, like literally like the no. biggest League of Legends rival ever. So now my heart is just torn apart, and I'm just confused. Ah, oh, that's awful. I just don't know who to like. <laughs> you just I like that guy, but but because uh, he got I, fired, it wasn't even yeah. like uh, he peaced out and jumped ship. Yeah, they like pushed no, him they, away, they and he's like, "No, they told him to leave," and right. he was like, "Okay, I'll go over here." And of course, the other team will be like, "Dude, sweet." Fuck yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's so rough. So now, now my my I'm just I don't know what to do. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I don't know who to like. <laughs> Did it? Is <laughs> it over? Cheer for. It's a tournament. Yeah. Is it over? There was a winner. Um, I'm very new to this. Basically, it's never over. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. It's constantly a thing. It's yeah. not like a, there's a winner with a champion. No, no, there is a winner. Okay, so it's... But it, it happens every season. Is there a winner of the season? Of this particular season? Yes. Um, that's a great question. I don't know. I've been oh. here. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> been able to keep up with it because I've okay. been at this convention. That makes sense. Th then you're forgiven Thank by you. the fans, hopefully. I appreciate it. Sorry, fans. Yeah. Actually, speaking of your people, I asked. Well, I did ask Danica. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the conversation that was lost yeah. to the abyss. Oh my that god. That is the record button. Uh. Now I'm depressed. No. Um, mm. I asked her, what is your particular fan base, like gender-wise? Is it pretty even? Is it mostly dudes, mostly chicks? Like Danica's, like all dudes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you're the same. There isn't gonna be. Nope. An even. No. Nope. Anywhere. I'm pretty even. <laughs> as far as females, I think. Yeah. Um, it, it's pretty safe to say that. I mean, to put it into perspective, there's a thing on Facebook where you can see like what percentage your fans are as oh, really? far as gender, where they're from. I'm a really bad cosplayer then. <laughs> 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 there's a feature that doesn't. Um, mine are right now 98% uh, versus two. Oh, so if that if that's a perspective for you, <laughs> she, Danica talked about how I mean she's got a lot. <laughs> um, she talked about when a girl comments on her stuff. Comments, oh yeah, I'm gonna start enunciating. She's like, it's like the best thing ever if they're yes. nice. She's like, oh, yes, friend, yes. <laughs> so yes, you're the same. <laughs> Literally, there's probably I think I remember in the past week maybe maybe one. Yeah. Maybe, definitely one, maybe two okay. girls who commented on one of my pictures. And both of them I responded to almost immediately like, girl! Right. <laughs> <laughs> same. <You>. same. <laughs> There's one girl, at any time somebody follows me on Twitter and it's a girl, I will follow them back. Just oh, really? because <laughs> I'm like, I You're like you. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. You're a gem. Right. <laughs> You're rare. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm pretty even. Cabbage is pretty universal. Although it's Good like point. a double-edged sword because I, uh, like I've, I've, I've said it before that like if I post anything that isn't cabbage related, they're like, mm -hmm. I'll get unlikes. They're like, eh. Meh. I'm like, all right, that's cool. I um, only liked you Star for Wars cabbages. is coming out in 25 days, so expect a lot of that. <laughs> right. And I'm called Jedi Brian Cosplay. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you looked up my page and found Jedi Brian Cosplay and click like. Obviously, you should have made your name Cabbage Brian. Yeah, right? If only I'd known. If only I'd known. Yeah. Do you get, uh, are, are your people usually cool? Yeah. Online? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's it's um, mixed because it's the internet. So there's yes. going to be jerks and there's going to be weirdos and then yeah. there's going to be cool people. So it's just all a big mixing pot of who decides to be on the internet that day. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You never know. You post the picture and leave it. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. I, I always feel so bad for Jessica Negri. Oh, my God. Me too. She, I, I mean, her work is phenomenal. 
amazing. But nobody cares. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's like it's like hockey players. It's it, everyone goes to the games to see the fights. Yeah. Like we don't care about your stats. It's it's like you and cabbages actually. Yeah. It's like people are like Jessica Negri boobs. And when she does something amazing, if there's no boobs in it, everyone's like, I mean, whatever. <laughs> she she posted a thing recently that made me laugh so hard. It was like what she does when people comment like overly pervy stuff. Did you oh, see yeah? that? No, I didn't. She, she's like, I've started doing this thing where if somebody's like extremely inappropriate or awful, she'll screenshot it, go to their profile, see if they have a girlfriend, and send her the screenshot. No. Yeah. That's amazing. I was like, that is Perfect. I've I've heard of that happening with people's moms, where oh people yeah? will screenshot and send it to their moms if they can find their moms on their Facebook, which That's I think amazing. is a phenomenal idea. Can you imagine? Right. I've seen some people whose moms will be like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> they said what? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll kill but them." Gotta learn. Yeah. Right. Gotta learn, man. I am exactly. so for that. I oh don't, yeah, me I too. I don't get anybody hating on me. It sucks. Damn it. <laughs> I barely even get I'm a nice cool. cabbages anymore. <laughs> I guess I'm old. <laughs> people aren't into them anymore. Um, I'm, I, I'm sad about how many people don't like Jessica Negri or hate on her. Because yeah. I think she is, like, one of the best armor builders I've ever seen. For sure. For and sure. her personality, and one of my friends met her. Um, I am. Jennifer Ann met her, and she told me that, um, her personality, even in person, like in a room, is absolutely magnetic. You can't what? like not. That explains a lot. I like mean, she's her. the most famous cosplayer in the world. Like yeah. more than Yaya Han. Oh I yeah. Looked. Yeah. Yaya Han's more of like you know the businesswoman. She's got patterns coming out. Does it? Jessica Negri's the most famous cosplayer in the world. Like entertainer. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like by far, she's got millions of followers. Oh yeah. Which and I think it's totally deserved. good for her. Mm -hmm. Good for her. That's a, that's what I always say. Like She's I, great. With cosplay, like it can very quickly turn into like a fashion show contest. Yes. Which sucks. Mm -hmm. But I'm all for it. I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Like especially if I have friends that are doing really really well. Like mm -hmm. Liz, I met Liz. She had she just hit nine thousand. Really. Now she's like thirty plus. I was like, uh -huh. I feel like I'm winning because you're winning. Uh huh. You know? There needs to be yeah. more people. That's I like I met Danica when she just posted her over nine thousand thing. Yeah, I am. I pushed her over that. Oh she's yeah. Like, oh, I'm almost nine thousand. So I shared it on my page and got her like fifteen because I only had like thirty people. <laughs> and she's like, I'm not ready. I'm Half not ready. Of my fan base. She had to look for her Dragon Ball Z shirt. <laughs> oh like, yeah. I can't find it. <laughs> she posted the picture. And now she's what at like twenty seven or something. Something so crazy. So twenty more thousand than when I met her is like twenty thousand people is so many, In and I'm so time. excited for her. Yeah. It's so quick. Mm hmm. It's pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty great. I dig it. I don't want to brag, but I'm uh. I'm like 12 away from 1,400. Woo! I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you should be thanking me for coming on my podcast. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I mean you're going to get such a boost well, from this. <laughs> can I have your autograph? <laughs> right. <laughs> you have so many people. When you shared the gas pump jams, everyone's like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I got like six followers from you on Instagram. <laughs> really? I was like, you guys are going to unfollow in a week. My Instagram's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a piece of bread. <laughs> I love that gas pump jams. It's my favorite. I'm so glad you did it. Oh, yeah. You have to do it more now. I've started a movement. Do Derek it. is going to do it. I, Brittany's going to do it. I went down Instagram, and there's like 30 of them. They're all me. You at the, at the front end, and at the back end, there's one woman singing like Material Girl who did it before me. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. Because the very next one is me, and if you click it, it says, I'm making this a thing. Hashtag gas pump jams. And I've been there since. <laughs> and you can see, like, my facial hair growth in them. I'll be like, shave, 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 beard, shave, shave. <laughs> <laughs> I had one where I've got, like, a pretty thick beard. And I'm just like. Yeah. yeah. And then the next one, I'm shaved. Doing the thing. I love having a beard. Yeah. I hate shaving. Me too. Shaving's the worst thing ever. I love having a beard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You rock it. You Thanks. rock a beard. Did you see Danica's beard when she was in the circus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my beard was that good. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> actually funny story my my me on nintendo ds has a beautiful beard and goatee oh really it looks just like me except just randomly with a beard and yeah, goatee. just, just <laughs> with a beard yep. <laughs> you need to make prints of that right yeah your fans will love it love it like 98 percent dudes just get the chick with the beard uh -huh. off. viral Absolutely. i'm telling you right now dude <laughs> doing it now i have to so what is <laughs> <laughs> She's on like a stuffed horse being serious. <laughs> oh yeah. Photo shoot rocking. on the stuffed horse. <laughs> as Han Solo. They had her walking like super serious up to it and she get on the horse. 
<laughs> so what is a dream cosplay of yours? That's what you've always wanted to do. Great question. You've um, probably never got it before. Once. But right that here? was when right I now? just started and I had no idea what to say. Oh, okay. So this is the first time I'd be <laughs> answering it. Nice. Um, a dream cosplay of mine oh, yeah, is... Um, Nova Terra from StarCraft. Okay. Also, um, Valera Sanguinar from World of Warcraft. Nice. You played WoW? Yes. Alliance or Horde? Horde. Everyone's Horde. Why is everyone Horde? Because we are the ones that aren't in our mom's basements. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I will tell you, this is why I didn't do Horde. Because you're all dicks. <laughs> <laughs> From what I've experienced, which obviously is not all of World of Warcraft, but... It definitely is. Um, <laughs> Unless you're about to say Alliance sucks. I, when I played Horde, I tried Alliance, I tried Horde. And when I tried Alliance, everybody seemed like they were either seven and whiny Kay. and annoying and... Um, if not that, then very, very, very old, older men who still lived with their moms who took the game way too seriously. Gotcha. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, there, oh. I'm sure there are some wild cards in there yeah. that I, yeah. I didn't, I There's didn't see. There's some that uh, don't fit the stereotype of truth. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm played, joking. I've capped a character on both. Oh, yeah? I had a capped orc warrior and a capped human warrior because mm -hmm. I'm lame. But and, and how do you feel? I liked Alliance better because they helped you. <laughs> Horde's like, figure it out. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm really? like level three. I, I've had a lot of help from my Horde people. Did you have friends bef when you went in? Yeah, but when I, without them, yeah? I had a lot of help from just people who invited me randomly to their guild or like very nice. I never got invites. Like I had to build my own guild. Oh. <laughs> I was like, mm. you know what? I'll make my own fort. Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Leave. No, Horde, I will say, is way more efficient. They know what they're doing, and they do not play around. Yes. Like, I got into a guild. I, I have friends that played a Horde, and they were, like, masterful. Like, yeah, we have a guild bank, and we donate. We got a system of, like, mm -hmm. returns and whatever. I was like, yeah. wow. Yes. Wow. I Alliance agree. had nothing like that. <laughs> um, Alliance is like, had we none of us have any idea what to do. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Horde is like, please, all right? What's it? It's not purple. I don't need it. Yeah. You know, I'm all about the Professor Plums. <laughs> that is a clue reference to purple. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So what what class did you play? Um, I played a warlock. My main was a warlock. My um, alt was a paladin. Nice. Were you human, and orc, like me? No, no, no. no. That cooler. was both horde. Oh, um, yeah. oh yeah, both horde. You never I tried yeah. a night elf. Yeah. I didn't even make it. I didn't cap. It I was, was like, like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Sorry, Alliance people. I actually have a lot of friends who are Alliance, and yeah. uh, they're all wonderful. Whoop, whoop, alliance people. But um, Are they living at home in seven? No, no. <laughs> they're very nope. successful, actually. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, I feel you, Alliance. No, I don't know. It's just a silly internet thing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be honest with you <laughs> not to them but i just didn't them. i just didn't like alliance also something that i noticed was whenever i played horde and i got like i'm sure there's a term for it but when you die and and somebody very high level just camps your dead body so you can't spawn right. and they just kill you over and over again that happened way more when i was playing on horde by alliance people than it was like horde really? people don't have time to do that Right. You know what I yeah. mean? They're too busy being efficient, <laughs> trying to find better gear and, you know, whatever, using their time wisely. Right. Whereas Alliance people are just like, you know what I want to do today? Right. I want to kill this poor level 10 at their at their spawn base, like, so they can't quest and they can't play the game. Because that's what I like to do. Ruin other people's <laughs> fun. That's me playing <laughs> online shooters. <laughs> they don't let me play. I yeah. got, like, a 30-second life expectancy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you all play the game, guys? <laughs> and the worst part is when they teabag you when they're done. You're like, oh, come on. I didn't come even on, do man. anything to you. I didn't even get to play. I <laughs> don't act like I shot at you. I didn't even get a shot I off. I didn't even try. They just, ha, ha, and they're out. I didn't out. even have a chance. Bastards. Brian didn't have a chance. No, I never have a chance. I what do you do? You have a you have an Xbox One because yes. you're Halo. Yep. Do you have a PS4? Uh, my roommate does. Yeah. So in theory, yes. 
do you like Xbox better? Because I've I heard actually mixed, just had this conversation. I've heard mixed earlier. reviews of Xbox One. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I like both. Yeah, Honestly, equally? well, I, I mean, I personally prefer Xbox, but not for any particular reason, just oh, because just I grew up on an Xbox. So, sure. I, like, if you, like, have played Xbox before, you know the Xbox interface, whereas you've sure. played PlayStation, you know the PlayStation interface. Agreed. I don't know how to work a PlayStation, so I got an Xbox. I don't know how to work <laughs> an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't blame anyone for having either one. I think they're both good, but yeah. that's just the one I'm used to. Gotcha. So you have an Xbox One. And Halo. And Halo. Uh-huh. And then you have a PS3? Or you have a PS4? My roommate has a PS4. PS4? Nice, nice. So is that Momo? Or yeah, is it, uh, Momo has Tell a her PS4. to add me. I, I have a PS4. Okay, I will do that. Actually, maybe not, because I'm really bad. <laughs> what do you suck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle told me to add you. I, I don't know why. Uh, no, no. <laughs> she doesn't listen to these. We're good. I didn't tell her that. <laughs> She's <laughs> lying to you. <laughs> So a lot of your pictures lately have been David Love, who I am a huge fan of. His work is amazing. We talked about him on Danica's podcast. That wasn't recorded. <laughs> that wasn't recorded. <laughs> How did you meet David Love? Um, funny story. Yes. I moved to Orlando uh, to start a job. And I didn't know anyone really, but like maybe two or three people in the whole city. Sure. And... Um, it just so happened I started cosplaying like right as I moved, right before I moved. Um, like I said, I'm shy, so I, I don't really know how to meet people right. well. <laughs> <You're sort> of, <laughs> so it's like I'm us at like the judges' table. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. So I I uh, I thought I would meet people that cosplayed in Orlando. It seemed like it had a big thing there, and I didn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that works. So uh, um, basically, I was just trying to find ways to like expand my page, you know, like I had just started it and I wanted to like make it into something, you know, Sure. Um, and I saw this picture on my newsfeed and it was this gambit picture and it was handsome Jordan, beautiful The cards. Yes. Jordans. Yes. Oh my God. Um, handsome Jordan is his cosplay name. Not that I'm calling him handsome, <laughs> although he is, I mean, <laughs> so, uh, he, was throwing the cards and the cards were coming at the camera and it was like this gorgeous, gorgeous Beautiful image. Beautiful composition. And I, I already did, I, I do graphic design. That's oh, my sweet. Uh, real job. So I was already like, this is my, my shit. This right. is, this, I love this. You this swan. is photography. This is graphic design in one. And I, this is amazing. And I want to do this. So I, I immediately contacted, I found the photographer and I messaged him, and I the first thing I I looked at his rates, and I was <laughs> like, "Damn, I hope those really aren't his rates." <laughs> 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 and then I messaged him, and I was like, "What are your rates?" And then he told me the same rates, and I was like, "Fuck." All right. Well, I'll see you in a year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still want to do it, but okay. Right. <laughs> um. And then um, I found out he was like maybe ten minutes down the road from me. Nice. And um. He, like, went through my portfolio, however small, at right. the time, and essentially decided that we could do time for print, which meaning that if there was an idea he wanted to shoot, I would do it for him to, like, expand my modeling experience or cosplay experience. Sure. Where, and if there was a shoot I wanted to do, he would do it to expand his portfolio because he had just recently started doing the cosplay photography. So sure. I lucked out hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So I literally just saw Handsome Jordan's picture. Yeah. Facebooked him. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. So you do graphic design? Yes. Did you go to school? Yes. That's awesome. Thank you. What kind of stuff have you done? Um, well, I've designed I've seen my your own amazing banner. amazing cards. And my business cards. I have so many of them. <laughs> and almost every kind. I'm like, well, got the new uh, Charizard, Ellen Marie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're so <laughs> my good. My Pokemon card business cards. Beautiful. If anyone hasn't seen them. Yeah. Um, if you don't, you need to get one. Just, I mean, just usually print stuff. Um, my degree is in creative advertising, so I can kind of apply it to anything. Nice. But I've been doing graphic design my whole life. Um, but uh, fun fact, fun I have fact. another job, and I, I write video game articles for a website called Gameskinny.com. I think I've heard of them, actually. Interesting. You probably have. Um, They're very prominent. Yeah. I do. I mean, I've been writing for them for over two years, and I do like nice. walkthroughs and game reviews and um, hmm. culture stuff. I've written cosplay articles, just like that's awesome. A lot of stuff. Yeah, that's very fun. What do you edit on? Use Photoshop. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do videography. I've done it for years. So yeah. I have Premiere and After Effects and uh -huh. video stuff. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't do Photoshop to save my life. Okay. Well then. Um, <laughs> we'll just. I'll film stuff. We'll. We'll. And you'd make stuff. Do our own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Help each other out, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. If you need video, I got you. Uh huh. But I can't even design like my my banner on my Facebook page. Uh huh. You know, it's like the cabbage in the front. Of it. Yeah, I yeah. had a friend. I was like, "Can you do this with these I pictures?" Don't get it. <laughs> I can't do any of it. I just like yeah. my idea of Photoshop is I take because I have a Mac. Uh -huh. I take all the pictures and I I make them in separate preview windows, uh -huh. scale them down, put them next to each other, and screenshot it. And I was like, "This is a banner." <laughs> 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 oh my God, my heart just <laughs> broken. I was like, that works. <laughs> Those are my capabilities. Oh my god, that's so <laughs> yeah. funny. Yeah, all, all of uh, all of my friends are way more talented than me, <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, <laughs> that's why I never tell people how I do stuff because like I don't know how to do any of it. It's okay, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, a guy yesterday was like, dude, like you inspire my cosplay game. I was like, you should really find another role. <laughs> <model>. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, I, oh my god, something is right. I fail so many times and then I hope to eventually get it right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm doing pretty well on uh, the newest costume I'm working. Oh yeah, I announced it, Robin Hood. It's coming along very well. Oh my God, yes. Did I show you it? The the, the beak and no. the hat and everything. No, you it, did show me oh, nothing. It's oh, this I'd is like an audio podcast. It. But uh, y did I tell you I'm doing it? No. Oh well, okay. So I'm hilariously uninformed right have now. Have you seen Robin Hood, the cartoon from Disney? You yes. haven't seen Robin Hood? I mean, I'm sure I have sometime in my childhood, but I, I, I Daniel, you haven't seen. Can't Robin exactly recall. That's this a moment. Disney movie. Have you seen Disney? You haven't seen Disney. I have seen Disney. You movies. know what? I have. I'm I not have. even gonna try. I I'm have gonna, seen. Like you know Aladdin, seen? Lion King. Yeah. Don't say Frozen. Is I mean, Frozen on the list Frozen. of movies you've seen? I've seen Frozen. <sighs> Although it's not one of my favorite Disney movies. Okay. Well, then you know what? Hold on. I'm going to first show you what it's supposed to look like because this is great podcasting. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. It's Robin Hood disguised as a stork. Oh, my God. No, I know. I've seen that. Yeah. It's yeah. a cosplay of a character cosplay. Yes. <laughs> I go deep. I've seen this. I've seen, I've totally, so I've, so I've seen this movie. Okay. I just actually recently watched this movie Thank over God. again. So. Well, that's where I'm at. Oh, my God. <laughs> I right? love that so much. Right? Wait, okay, so I have a question. Yes. For you again. What happened to Lemon Grab? I was hoping you wouldn't bring it up, but I knew you would. <laughs> okay, so here's it. Okay. My cosplay game. Uh huh. Okay. What I try to do is characters I haven't seen before. Okay. Because I just love the character enough that I want it represented. Yes. I announced Lemon Grab. Uh huh. Learned don't announce stuff till they're done. Oh my God. I've gone through four Me different too. prototypes for Lemon Grab's head because I cannot get it right. I had it flat and it looks really good, but then my sister's like, "Why don't you do 3D?" I was like, "Oh my God, an actual lemon head! You're genius." Cannot figure it out to save my life. If some guy was like, you have three days or you'll die, I'm most likely going to die. Oh, my God. Cannot figure it out. Aww. So I was like, oh, just, I'll just move this stuff around. And since then, I've seen four Lemon Grab cosplayers in Florida. So I was like, all right, he's represented. We're good. The torch has passed. <laughs> We're okay. That's why I've seen, since I've done the Cabbage Merchant, I've seen like three others pop up. So I was like, oh, sweet. I can pass the cabbage to somebody. But I doubt it because it's the only way I get guest spots. <laughs> <laughs> the cabbage guy. No, it's literally, cabbage guy that's Brian. how they promoted me here. They're like, oh, come see the cabbage guy. I was like, I'm Jedi Brian. <laughs> I didn't bring the cabbage this week. I was an uh, officer yesterday, Jedi today. I didn't yeah. even bring it. So. Sometimes you have to rebel. I like him. He's very fun. He got me where I'm, if I, Danica was talking about how the cosplay uh, community is very, very, girl oriented yeah which absolutely dude if i got a picture between me as a cabbage guy or boobs boobs are winning every single time <laughs> that's just math uh-huh two and one you know but um to to be a dude cosplayer that people actually care about is really really hard but also kind of an accomplishment you know the fact that i have like almost 1400 people and i'm a dude that makes that face <laughs> that's pretty that translates to like way more yeah <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah, so you're right. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. like, like I look at, um, I always think of Miggy. Do you know Miggy? Mm -hmm. Heroes of Cosplay, awesome dude. He's got, I want to say, I mean, I haven't looked at forever because I don't like. Oh, let's make a spreadsheet. <laughs> he had like 14k. Baby time. <laughs> yeah, he had like 14k. The girls have like over a hundred thousand, like well over a hundred thousand. It's just, it is what it is. Your fan base is 98 percent dudes. Exactly. Is what it is. You mm -hmm. know, I've, I want to say. I got prints in the first place because everyone's on my page like, dude, you got to get prints. Your cosplay. I was like, all right, why would I? Okay. <laughs> I've sold three prints in my entire history. 
Less out inventory of the cost. three prints I've sold, I think you were one of them. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. I know I've I've contributed. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yep. Well, so <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> it uh, it worked it worked out well because I do you know all the other entertainment stuff, so it works to like pitch those. I'm like, oh, cabbage. I have a podcast mm -hmm. that I sometimes forget to re press record on. Yeah, I do movies. You know, I act. Uh huh. So that helps, you know, but. So Brian. Yes. What's your favorite cosplay? How did you of get yours started or mine? <laughs> in cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll switch it around on you. I've actually asked someone that before. <laughs> yeah? My favorite. Answer mine. Yeah. Or okay. Or ever. I'll answer of both. Of anything I've ever seen. Your, my favorite cosplay of yours is either Android 18 or Lola Bunny. My favorite cosplay of my own is probably Malcolm Reynolds. Sorry to all the cabbage people. I love the cabbage guy. I, I was love gonna him so say, much. I have to say that but the cabbage guy is my favorite of yours. Yeah. I mean, not that that's a surprise because I, everything else I is love Star him. Wars. Everybody <laughs> loves him. I yeah. Ask my page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I post not cabbage <laughs> stuff, they're like, eh, okay, uh, again. Okay, I'm here for cabbage, okay. and you're done with that. You're, yeah. Bye. <laughs> I love that one right there mm -hmm. is m probably my favorite because it took me like a year and a half to track down all the screen accurate parts, and oh, wow. the guy who plays him retweeted me that said nailed it to like two million followers. <laughs> I printed it out. It's like framed. <laughs> I freaked. Oh so probably that one because of the validation that came with it. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Until I get my clone done, which that's the helmet. Lovely. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm going to be a stormtrooper as well. Eventually. You know, it's just fun. I know what that is. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> You've heard of it. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe. Somewhere down the line. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> we may have had fun. I don't know. So you, how did, how did you meet Danica? Was it at a con or was it through David? I met everyone through David. Yeah? Everyone. Um, I started shooting with David. I had 250 likes nice. on my page. I, I took a screen cap when I hit 250. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was less than that. I think it was 236 or in that realm. Right. Um. And he was like, why am I even shooting with this girl? I'm getting nothing out of it. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. I guess he he tells me that he saw a lot of potential, which is hey, nice. That's very nice. Um, makes me happy. But essentially, I met everyone through that through him. Yep. He he said all the time that, um, or he's, he says it all the time, even to this day, that... Um, he only shoots with cool people. That's one of his like phrases. Uh, like, damn only it. shoot well, with cool people. There goes my shot. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> 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 um, but he he said it. He's like, if everyone hung out, everyone would love each other. That's just like I think everybody would like each other in that way. And yeah, I was like, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I bet. And then I met Danica. I didn't say like maybe four words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that whole photo right. shoot. <laughs> I was like so I uh, like not starstruck, but I was like. So sh I mean I'm shy. Did you I'm know so who she was? So shy. No. That but, helps. Um, I I I just knew that she knew what she was doing, and All I right. didn't. <laughs> the experience one came so in. So I like, was like, <laughs> I kept opening my mouth to say things and contribute to the conversations, and then I would just shut it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the same thing happened when I met Heather Lee. Oh yeah. He introdu David introduced me to everyone. Well, uh, me and Danica met because she needed somebody to do Mortal Kombat with her. Oh, nice. And I, so I made her a Raiden, a Lady Raiden. Um. And that whole shoot was was her and David talking and me existing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there. I w I was there. Not on paper, <laughs> but I was there. in s in physical spirit. Yeah, in physical <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Gotcha. I was a I was a big fan of Danica's before we were friends. I know. So it was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone knows by now. <laughs> I, that's why she's she doesn't listen to the podcast. And I was like, oh, thank God, I talk about you a lot. <laughs> she she does it. I say it in literally almost every episode. She has model face. Yeah. You know, she just she like, does. She just knows what to do and just. Boop she knows on. exactly what it will translate on camera. Which is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. I just I tried that earlier, and I just always looked either dead-eyed, like there's no emotion, <laughs> or angry. I was like, uh -huh. well, that's not what I'm going for. I'm trying to look cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. 
Yeah. But it, it's so funny. People don't think that modeling is hard, but oh man, is it hard. I can't imagine. So I hard. got headshots and it was awful. The photographer was amazing. The pictures were great, but I'm so very, very awkward. Mm -hmm. I was like, put me in a costume as a character. Set. The yeah. second you're like, we're going to take pictures of Brian. I was like, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to be Brian. Uh. Yeah, no, I, I, my, <laughs> I was looking at the pictures from my first photo shoot with David. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> uh, my eyes looked like I was a deer and I was about to be hit by a car. Every that, in every that can picture. Work sometimes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Can. <laughs> it can never work. Not in the way that I was doing it. I. I was like. I. It was just really like cringy. The whole thing. <laughs> Did you did you ever do any sort of modeling before doing cosplay stuff, or it just fueled one into the other? No, um, it was actually David, and I, I attribute most of my like success, if you want to call it that, to, yeah. to him because he basically taught me any, any, everything that I know right now about modeling. Wow! Because he uh, he was the one that suggested that I come over to uh, like my first shoot without any costumes. I only had Android and like almost finished cami from street fighter and that's it right um he suggested that i come for a few hours and just do modeling okay and like to i guess break break the ice yeah, yeah. get comfortable yeah in front of a camera because cosplay you'd think that it'd be harder than modeling because it's like a whole different thing but it's actually easier when you have a purpose oh absolutely then it's way more to be a character uh -huh. than to like i'm gonna figure out how my face looks yeah for realsies. i have to sell myself instead of the yeah. character which is harder like you said um but yeah no he taught me everything that i know like as sense. far as face the model face yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, um danica said the same thing uh-huh she's like everything's david david's like our mentor and i yeah. was like as if I wasn't intimidated by his awesome <laughs> already. I'm such a fan of his. He knows exactly what he's doing, exactly what will make the picture look good. Which is Exactly amazing. what lighting is going to be right. He he gets up and moves the lights around more than we move poses. Yeah. Because he needs to, like, he knows what is going to make the picture perfect. Right. And I, I've learned so many tricks from him, like where to put my legs to make them look the best. And, sure. And what side to, like, go to the camera on. And How to pose correctly. Yeah, and, and, like, and like, leaning f like a little bit forward in pictures. It, it's, like, all these little tiny tricks that, like, you'd never know. Right. Which is pretty until, cool. Until, like, you learn stuff like that. So that's, like... And now it's funny because he'll send me pictures like from cons, like like con photos, and be like, "You rocked it," and I'll be like, "Thanks, David." Right. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all you. you. That's awesome. You taught me everything. <laughs> I like his I like his photo things where he talks about like versus the selfie camera. Uh -huh. It's like iPhone better than a real camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's funny because like part of being a cosplayer is being an entertainer. Absolutely. So you have That's to have. That's why I do it. You have to have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A personality. So uh, part of that personality is having a social presence. Yes. And social media before I did cosplay was my social media was non-existent. Yeah. I yeah. hated Facebook. I hated Twitter. I hated Instagram. I, I never I didn't even have an Instagram until I started cosplaying because I, I the need to document my life was so irrelevant right. for me at the time. So then I started doing cosplay and it um, opened up this whole realm of, of Facebook and social media and all this stuff where I would like never post on my Facebook. I only used it to like talk to my friends. Sure. Um, or if someone like <laughs> posted something on my timeline to respond, you know, right. Or like to share stuff on other people, but I never posted statuses or anything. So like doing that for cosplay was weird for me at first, but yeah, that's yeah. part of the job, you know? Absolutely. So I'm really bad at it. I don't remember where I was going at. Where <laughs> 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 what were we? S Welcome to my podcast. What were we talking about? <laughs> That's literally how it is. I just talk about whatever. That's why I don't come in with questions. And it's, it's uh-oh, uh-oh, Nerd Bunny's talking about stuff. She loves us. We're good. She loves us. <laughs> that means we never have to leave. She didn't hear we're what I said about Chi-Chi yet. That's actually perfect. We're over an hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't like Chi-Chi. Y'all cannot like her. You're in the majority. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what uh, was I talking about? Uh, social, social media, media how modeling, entertainment, persona, stuff like that. Yep, David's awesome. It's pretty much the gist. <laughs> I was getting somewhere with that. Oh, I don't. I don't know what it was. Cinnamon here. Well, for you. No, as a matter of fact. Not chestnut, cinnamon. Cinnamon chestnut is his full name. What? 
but I think that may be about do it. Where can people find you online? That's important. Plug, plug, plug. People can find me at elliemarie.com. Dot com? You have a dot com? Uh, E-L-L-E-I-M-A-R-I-E dot com. Th that's so legit. I also have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, courtesy of Cosplay. Yeah. Uh, slash Ellie Marie. And then if you would like to check out my store, it is elliemarie.storeenvy.com. But I also have an Etsy oh. for art-related and cosplay-related purchases. I'm assuming Not prints. also Ellie Marie. Um, Ellie, or Etsy dot... Etsy, Etsy slash shop slash Ellie Marie. That's a very good idea, having everything. It's separate. Store Envy is for prints. Etsy is for art, um, and, art stuff. and um streamlined cosplay materials. I sell masks and oh, stuff nice. on Etsy. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Well, thank you for coming on my podcast. Thanks. I actually recorded it. So You did. That's uh <laughs> God, I'm so not gonna uh, let myself. I guess we did the thing. We did we the thing. We did the thing. We did the thing. Quick, who's your favorite Avatar character before we leave? Don't say the Cabbage Guy, because it's never the Cabbage Guy. I can't. Asami, is that how you say that? That's from Korra. You like her? Yeah. You should do her. You should do I an Asami. I thought about it. Yeah. Are you talking about real Avatar? Yes. Like first Avatar? Yeah, actual oh, Avatar. Okay, I thought not you Korra. meant the whole. Korra is different. I, th I mean. It's good. I've seen all of it. I liked it. It's but good. Avatar's I thought you meant so the whole thing. Okay. From original Avatar, um, Toph. By really? Far. Oh, yeah. I like Iroh. Iroh is my favorite character. I can see that. I love the Cabbage Cabot. I love him, too. White Lotus, man. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, tough female characters. That's fair. That's fair. Tough female characters are awesome. I love jam. tough females. Yeah. They're the best. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, say bye. Bye.